hey guys, if you're like me, you love the outdoors, but you hate the bugs. Today I'm gonna introduce you the Thermocell MR150. So this little guy is the Thermocell MR150. And this was actually the very first Thermocell product I ever purchased almost four years ago and I still use it with regularity. This thing is phenomenal. So the total weight on this guy comes in at 11.7 ounces. This is not something I would necessarily bring with me if I was going on a backpacking trip, but if I was going on a canoe trip, I had the extra space and the ability to carry some more weight, I would totally throw this guy in if bugs were expected to be bad. So we're gonna go through the specs and I'm gonna show you all about it. The nice thing about this thermocell is that you do not have to charge it. It does not have any batteries. Instead, it uses these 12 hour fuel cartridges to power the unit, which is really nice because there's nothing worse than showing up at camping. And then you realize, oh, I forgot to plug in this device and now the Skeeters are coming after me. So it uses one of these little butane fuel sources and these fuel containers will burn up to 12 hours continuously. The other component are these little repellent mats. Now each one of these little repellent mats is a bright blue color and it is good for a total of four hours. As it heats up and as the repellent burns off of it, it's going to turn white. So once you've noticed that, what are you waiting for? Now's the time to do it. We'll see you next time on the trail. Welcome to Lone Crow Adventures. Today I'm going to be introducing you to the Backpackers Thermocell. This is the Backpackers Thermocell. I've been a big fan of Thermocell products for years and I found the Backpackers version on sale and I decided I would give it a go. Very impressed with this product so far. Comes in a nice little ditty bag which is great because you can keep the Thermocell in here which is this small little four ounce device that screws right onto your fuel canister. You can also keep these pads right inside of this bag too so that way everything that you have is self-contained. So we're going to get this bad boy fired up and I'm going to show you guys all about it. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you learned something new. Until next time folks, we'll see you on the trail. Welcome to Lone Crow Adventure. Today I'm introducing you to the Thermocell Radius Gen 2. This is the Thermocell Radius Gen 2. Check it out. This thing is an excellent option for bug protection because it's completely deep free and it doesn't rely on the application of any kind of chemicals to your skin. Instead, it lets off a chemical into the air to keep bugs at bay. So the weight on this item comes at 5.5 ounces and with the cartridge inside totals out at seven ounces. So it's definitely small, compact and lightweight if you're wanting to keep those bugs off you at camp. So if you are familiar with Thermocell products, you're probably familiar with the scent pad and the small butane cartridge that you need to power the unit. This one is totally different. This is the cartridge and it comes in two sizes, either a 12 hour model or a 40 hour model. And it's really nice because you don't have to mess around with those pads anymore. You just pop and drop and let it go. So it works by wicking up this fuel that you'll see this little chemical in there. It works by wicking that up and heating it up and sending that out into the air. So let's get this thing fired up. This is the Thermocell Radius. It features a magnetic click top lid for easy access and convenience. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you learned something new. Get out there, get on the trail. Hello, hello everyone. I'm back. This is Brian with Zimco Survival and this is the promised insect repellent. Um, I did manage to find it this time and uh, that is the keratin. This insect repellent is unlike the lemon of eucalyptus. This one is actually artificially manufactured. This is not a natural chemical. Um, so it is toxic, but it is, you know, about the same toxicity as the repel. There are benefits to this. This is the uh, Sawyer brand and it contains 20% picard with 80% inert ingredients. Now this is the lotion. I do prefer the lotion because it stays on longer. It's easier to apply but picaridin also comes in a spray and um, 
it is gear safe. So this repellent will not damage artificial or man-made fibers. Overall, it's been one of the best that I've used. I'd say it is probably the best and it's the one I most often bring with me. It, it works where the, um, the lemon of eucalyptus worked in you know, low bug densities. This works in medium bug densities. This one, there can be a pretty decent number of bugs around. But thank you guys for watching, as always. Hey there everybody, I'm Crunchy Scott and today I am going to review this. This is the Thermocell Patio Shield. And basically it is supposed to help get rid of the mosquitoes or repel them from your patio or garden. And it comes with these, which is a little pad that has the repellent actually on it and you slip it into here. I'll show you how it works. And then this is a little butane thing so that you put this inside of it, lights up and then the uh, repellent you know, goes everywhere. So yeah, the mosquitoes this year have just, I say this every year, but they have just been brutal this year. And the only times I can go into my garden is when I'm working in it and I'm planting something or pulling leaves off of something or breaking up leaves or whatever, or when I'm watering the garden. So those are usually the times that I'm out there and I'm usually covered in bug spray. Uh, sometimes it works, most of the times it doesn't. Um, but I am even so sensitive to the point where when I'm trying to race from my car to unlock my front door, I'll get bitten at least two or three times before I can even get. So something like a, this Thermocell Patio Shield, I am really hoping will work because for one, it will, it'll mean that I won't be able to, uh, I won't have to wear bug spray anymore, which will be great. But it also brings me back to my patio. I'll be able to actually use that space again and have people over and stuff like that without being too worried about getting attacked and blood sucked.